generic greetings and welcome back once again to Airships Conquer the Skies. Today's beverage is an interesting one that is pineapple and grape juice drink, which now I realise why the shop had it on sale. An interesting flavour and doesn't entirely work. Anyway, I digress. In the previous video of Airships, we were once again designing and fighting and if we go over to the Airship editor here, we made the... Antrim, which was and still is a carrier, two bombers, several biplanes, and the main armament being a suspendium ray. The idea was that we would go close towards the structure or whatever, fire the ray, keep firing that and keeping the planes on board until such time as they don't have any or very little anti-aircraft weaponry and then launch them. It didn't entirely work out because most things that we fielded it against were just cheaper, which is always the issue with the planes there, but it did work in some, in some, like, you know, small situations where, you know, you would get a lucky shot, take out the anti-aircraft, or perhaps you would be able to outmaneuver them or whatever. Either way, it was an interesting design and definitely uh, requires and I think would benefit from a version 3, but we're not going to do that now. Instead, I want to tackle a bit of a issue. Let's go over to the building editor and open the land fortress, which is a completely overdone thing. It's just got cannons on both sides, loads of sponsons down the middle, huge heavy turret there, followed by some flat cannons. It's basically a brick with loads of guns on it, and the problem is we can not really verse it with pretty much anything that we have. Now, pretty much anything that we send at it, whether it uh, be airship or a, a ground vessel it's just too expensive we can't outgun it so we need somewhere to defeat ground targets without having to shoot it and the only couple of ways i can think is either high level bombing which probably is not going to work because obviously it's got all that flak or we can do some boarding now if we go over to the land ship editor and open the design we do have a couple of boarding vessels we have the atlanta which is quite expensive at 1500 and it only has a couple of marine barracks followed by the spider bay and that has seen limited success and we've also got uh, other other designs, if we go further down, we'll probably be able to see some of them. Where is it? Or is it a legacy? It might be a legacy thing. Um, oh, the Acne carries one as well, which is loads of these Air Dragoons. So as soon as we start, they then fly off. But again, they can be easily shot. What we need is something around about the two grand area and have it basically just filled with Marines. And it's cheap. It's not armored. It's fast. It gets to the... It gets to the destination and then we just board. That's the idea. So let's work on that idea. So we've got marine barracks here, which is 132. We also have an option for the grenadier. And the grenadier are a little bit better because they have grappling hooks for rapidly boarding enemies. However, we're not really bothered about that. And also, the main issue is that marines, you get eight of them. Whereas the grenadiers, you only gain four. So we're looking at building... Uh, something with these marine barracks. As I said, I want this to be around about the four grand, sorry, the um, probably two and a bit grand mark, but we'll see how we get on. There's loads of these marine barracks in here. So we've got uh, four by three. So we got 12 in total. So that should be quite a decent amount. So yeah, um, <laughs> hopefully that'll be enough to take over an opponent. We're going to go down to our propulsion here and I'm going to go with large tracks which will go I think on there so that should hopefully be yes yeah, speed is 89 kph so probably enough for our needs. If we wanted to we could probably remove these four one two three four and put maybe some more like that and make it uh, longer. Do I want to do that instead? It's not really a big issue if we were to do that, although we'll see. Maybe maybe something like that is a bit better, and I, th I just don't want it too tall. And there we go. And what we'll need to do now is have... Well, we need somewhere to crew it, so we'll need quarters, but quite frankly, I really don't need a lot of them. It says recommended crew is six, and we've now got 12. I'm going to go with a cockpit. I'm just going to place them on here, by the way. Not bothered about a particular placement. We need coal and we need supply hatches. Well, coal we could probably place on the back here. So what I'll do is go down to resources and then to a small coal store, which will fit. Actually, if I place it in there and then can place from 
the basic ladder there. That is fine. So that now can move. And then we need more supply hatches. So it will be resources. And then the wooden supply hatch. And then we only need... How many do we need? A lot more than that. So instead of this size, I'm going to go with the bigger one. And we still need more than that. Wow, okay. Um, wooden supply hatch, wooden supply hatch. Mm, that would be fine. Something like that. Okay, that is now in. What I'll do, it, it functions anyway. I will pull these forward. So one to there, one to there. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because I want to have some shapes, like on the front and back just to make it a little bit more interesting and I'm probably going to place that one there oh no actually we can't because we can't get access to it there we go so there is our <laughs> rough design it is not armed in the slightest it doesn't have a gun but it doesn't need a gun because it's got these guys to board let's go over to the solid shapes here I'm going to place some solid shapes in the rear like that We'll so I'll flip them round, come up here. I want the two by one, which will go in the front. Although I'm worried about uh, hitting into things, actually. So I might... Do I want to roll to that? Mm, no, that's about right. Then we'll flip that. I want to make... Like, if, we, if we're ramming through... If we're ramming through the trees and such we'll need a bit of a block like that actually now that I think of it having this on the back is a terrible idea we want it right near the front don't we we want that right near the front so we can when they climb out they're gonna go that way yeah I'll place one at the back though like that that'll be better for us I think this can go further back that can go further back like that that's better. Place that there. And remove those. Let's go with that. That now all connects up. Let's check the pathing. Pathing's good. Nowhere to put out fires. No repair. Don't need it. Okay. Oh, <laughs> well, I'll say that now. We'll see what happens in the course of the testing here. So that'll slope there. I want probably something like that yeah that's okay and then that's all right so I say trying to take the edge off this and that actually looks similar to a design we made previously which is like a, a dog looking thing <laughs> it's got like a big head there I'm gonna change that to that makes it even worse. Okay, back to what we had. Yeah, there we are. You've also got this half block as well, which is quite interesting. Oops, let's remove that. See what the half block looks like across there. That well, gives it a different, uh, a different sort of feel, doesn't it? I don't know if we want that. No, I don't think we do. There we go. Okay, back to there, back to there, and there we go. Hopefully that will function. Right, so armor, we currently have our wooden armor. I'm going to change it to wooden wall, which will cheapen out even more. Don't know if this will work, but we'll see. You can also say none as well, but I don't know what... <laughs> you can just see through the whole thing. Uh, maybe you just put some wood wall in there. All right, so we're going to try this out. Uh, we're going to rename it. It's currently the Herbert West, and we're going to name it... Uh, what should we name it? Oh, the Helsinki. I think I might have spelled that wrong. I fear I may have. Save the design. Save yes. And let's give this one a go. So over to combat and to day. And we want to put in a building around about the two grand mark. The GDS turret is about that. But the Titan 2. <laughs> yeah, boarding the Titan 2 wouldn't be a big issue. Let's just go over to the GDS turret. Which is about the cost uh, of our, our thing. Oh, there's the carrot. Hang on. Carrot with a top hat from... Um, Yes, Merchant of the Skies. 
featured a video. That's, uh, I have featured a video with that as well. Over to our land ship then, and down to the Helsinki, and we'll place it at the front. Start the fight, and immediately press R for ram. I'm going to ram it to there, and go, go, go. And you can see it's very, very quick, and it's making decent inroads there. And immediately I can see the problem. I've told it to do that, and it is now in position. <laughs> because of what we've got and the size of it, I can't give it any other orders. Okay, that's immediately depressing. Let me go over to the land ship, open the design again of the Helsinki, and we're going to change the command and, uh, command and control of this thing up. We're going to remove the cockpit, and instead we're going to have a bridge. And there we go. Okay, a bit better. Save the design. Save. It's not even a version 2, because version 1 was more like version 0, because it didn't work. Back over to the land ship, place that down, like so, as close as we possibly can. Add a building, put the GDS turret in the back there, because that's r realistically where it would go. We are overpointed by about 80, not that it matters, let's ramp to there, go, go, go. You can still see, though, that it's going to take some time for us to issue the commands, but nowhere near as bad as previously. You can see we are stomping through all of this, and obviously a lot of it is because of the... There we go, let's go to board. A lot of it is because of the lightness of this, and obviously we did remove a lot of... Uh, a lot of the weight of it. You can see they are heading towards the heading towards the structure, but they are getting they're getting very very confused on exactly where they need to go. They are not getting there. Oh dear. That's a problem. Right. That didn't work. They actually left. There you go, they're trying to get there. Oh, they're, they're, I was going to say I was going to leave, but we might actually still succeed here. Yeah, they're, they're getting very confused. Pathbang doesn't seem to be functioning as intended. They seem to leave through the bottom here. A big hole that was made. And then they're sort of scrambling on the top and then did that. But some of them are making it across. You can see they are jumping across now. I think it's more of an abandoned ship. And it does say defeat, and technically that's correct. That's correct. But we have got a lot of borders on there. Let's go over to combat once again. I think we can probably give that another try. Place that in there. Over to the building. The building, we will put once again the same turret. This time what I'm going to do is start the fight. And actually, no, I will, I will go over to there. I was going to say what I'll do is issue the boarding action first. And what they might do is get ready, like leave their bunks essentially and get ready to board being the, a level of preparedness but I don't think that would work. There is the ram which has made a nice little flat front there and we're going to say board and they have left through the hatches at the top there which is exactly what we expected and boarding is underway and also seems to be quite successful although we've got a fire on the back there and that's captured okay <laughs> it was literally over within about 10 seconds and there we go okay that functioned let me try then is a let's try a nice rainy day snowy night storm let's have a storm uh so building let's use one of these land fortresses for try in anger and obviously building no sorry land ship helsinki place that there start the fight immediately say ram over to there obviously it has to traverse this terrain now naturally if the terrain was more bumpy more undulating we wouldn't be able to do this but it isn't so we can get straight in through that thing and then bang we've immediately taken out one of their weapons what is of some concern however that you can see it's slowly drifted back and they're not able to get forward and we have lost the emotive systems but we are on board and we are now charging through the center there you can see we are currently getting chipped away at and also yeah they've stopped again because they can't get on board they're having some problems I also noticed that we got close enough so that the <laughs> the flak cannons could shoot the top of the vessel, but that's a capture. So that's victory. Helsinki obviously has is immobile, so that's it gone, but we've just been able to capture something that is a third more expensive than us. I'm happy with that. Let me try that again. Let's see if that was a, a random event or not. So let's go over to the building. We're going to place in a land fortress. Now, obviously, we have got Denver's and other such airships that could do the same sort of job, but they're a bit more expensive and more prone to this flak. 
and land ship Helsinki let's place that in there start the fight ram I'm just gonna say ram to there obviously it's very quick it's just plowing straight through all of these trees we could realistically give this a weapon but I don't think it would really do much and it's <laughs> it's of such a height that that little prong on the front that it just is at the right height to ram the uh, the front of the <laughs> It's it's <laughs> of such a height with it, where the point is, it just is able to ram that big gun that's there. Anyway, you can see what's actually happened now is that they've abandoned the, uh, well, smouldering wreck of their carrier. It is just an APC, this thing. Actually, I wouldn't even say it's an APC, because that APC is armoured personal character. It's just a personnel carrier, it's not armoured. But that's another victory. Okay, that is pretty good. Let's try something else then. Let's go for... Um, a land ship, Helsinki, place it, and for two grand, what could we get for two grand? Well, we'd get some of these, which would be terrible, um, encroacher. So let's try an encroacher. I have a feeling it's just going to be an absolute whitewash from us. Let's go forward. So it's actually coming towards me, which is... An interesting concept, although I, I fear I'm going to lose out on this. Okay, I've managed to take out one of its engines, which is good. I've initiated some boarding, and we've lost all of the uh, <laughs> we've lost all of the tracks again. It does tend to lose its legs pretty quickly. Uh, <laughs> all the motive power is just removed, and this tower block is shooting at us. But there's the boarding. They are making their way to... Where are they making their way to? They're making their way to an entrance way at the back there. Now, these aren't reinforced supply hatches, so they can get in. If they were reinforced, we may have some issues there. That's a defeat, because we are no longer in existence, but I reckon we would have been able to take that over. On a bigger setting, we might be all right there. Okay, um, let's go for building. Titan 2. Place this in the ground. <laughs> Add a... Oh, I don't think this is going to work out too well. Add in the Helsinki. So not only are we having to traverse this terrain, which is pretty difficult because of considering where the tracks are, but also this is a Titan II missile silo. It's going to launch this guided missile and it's going to hit us. And we're pretty much going to be wiped out within the first hit. Oh, it looks like we ramped over. We ramped over and are able to sit on top of it within its minimum range. Let's issue the boarding. There we go. They're coming down and jumping out. Like so. Yeah. You can hear the computer working. They're coming down the main entrance way, through the cableways, taking the silo, taking the command centre. And we now have a missile under our command. Okay. Open to, I'm going to open the landship editor then. Open the design. And I'm going to move that forward to there. And these also forward like so. Because instead of that cargo door being there, I'm going to remove it and place cargo doors right at the front. Like that. So we can get out that way. I think that would be better for us. There we go. Several disconnected parts. Yeah, there are several disconnected parts. I'll try and fix this. There we go. Um, like that. Alright. Over to solid shapes. Fill a block will go in. And do you want to put a little point on the top? Half block, maybe? No, doesn't work out. I don't think we need any more. I think that's fine. So it means they've got better ways out. Save the design. Not going to version to it, because I think that is just better. And we'll give that another go. We're going to say land ship. Oh, hang on. Ah, oh, I'm not within supply. My mistake. Let me go and fix that. Land ship. Open. Helsinki. Yeah, it does sit up there, to be fair. And we'll do that. Okay. Save it. There we are. 
and we'll put that in and maybe even a winter the winter is more expensive let's see what it'll do giving it a fair chance putting it at the back and I'm ramming straight forward getting some air as we go over there this is going to be bad oh we're going to get a pointy ramp oh yes so we are now in and we've both lost our <laughs> tracks and they do like going back over don't they to, to get out it's a shame but that's a win has to be a win surely the amount of people on board there's how over 90 borders I think 92 borders something like that more than enough to take control of that guy. completely unarmored <laughs> didn't seem to affect it much and there we go that's a win I wonder if then hmm let's have a look more iteration oh that's the wrong one so there's the overlays for the walkways what if I was to put access bits pretty much every like bit up the top there would that work it could work it's possible and do that and then move this back to what it was right let's try it let's try it I think we'll put the point back in there <laughs> it seemed to function all right there we go I quite like that actually um, and then just do that all right would that work better well you don't know until you know say the design we do have the right number of supply hatches I don't think we've done this much iteration on a design for a while storm rain what's the difference oh, I got storm clouds in the back okay um, fog no dusk yeah why not okay land ship no all ships modules are accessible ah right my mistake again it always is I know where it is it's that one yeah because you can't go down so that one won't work where's the best place to put another one of these there technically there we go that'll do us actually I might even put it there and there we are save that and try once more what should we put it up against the winter was a good fight <laughs> the new port take ages to get there oh there's the new castle the uh, missile boat Paris I mean encroacher the corrector that's just loads of acid throws you know what we'll put against the building this is the thing it was originally made to fight so that was the entire idea ram to there go 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 so straight through the trees ramps over there here it comes and impact boom so it takes out the gun that's there initiate boarding they do seem to be going up and out for the other that new supply hatch and they are jumping across and I'm going to tell it to move further forward. No, I'm not. <laughs> I was going to tell it to move further forward. I can issue the order. It's not going to follow it anymore. But that's another boarding. And it looks to be somewhat successful. It is successful. All right. And once again, that's a relatively easy victory with a vessel that is a third. Well, it's 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 um a third cheaper. 
All right, I think we can make a note here. Huge success. That has been a bit of airships and messing around with boarding and the Helsinki, which is not an APC. It's just a PC. It's just a, <laughs> a personnel carrier. It takes the Marines from A to B, and B tends to be the place where we do the fighting and board and take it over. I thought that trying to outgun that defence was not going to work in almost anywhere there there be certain places where we can beat it probably extreme long range and i'm guessing torpedoes which was my next thing which i'll probably try so yeah um also the the newcastle did have a good go at it but it's like you know 8000 and it's always you know versus cost wise you know for 3000 you're not going to get much more than what it's uh, what it's got so it's difficult to difficult to defeat pound for pound Either way, hope you have enjoyed this little bit of airships and this mess around. If you have any suggestions for changes for the Helsinki, by all means let me know. If you have any suggestions for designs, then once again, pop them in the comments and we'll see how we get on. As always, hope you have enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.